Hey guys, what's up? It's Neon Tiger. Welcome back to Project Cars. Here we are. We're at Donington in our uh, our GT5 or Zack Speed. Let's go. So hopefully this goes a little <laughs> um, a little better than qualifying. I had a very loose car. Oh, yeah, this, this feels super loose right now. I'm not exactly a fan of that. Uh. I uh, I set this up for having understeer, and I may have either set it up too far or not far enough. No, not far enough. Every time I hit the accelerator, this thing wants to throw itself into a spin. I hate this. Uh, but yeah, we're at Donington doing more GT5 UK Cup racing, and yeah, this is this is one cup I will not be returning to. I love these cars, but please, game. Please, don't make me spin out every time I hit the accelerator. I'm not even jamming it down, I'm just slowly pressing it and like... I can't even slowly accelerate in these cars, it just wants to uh... It just wants to throw me off into the grass every time I do it. There we go. I have to be like perfectly straight before I can line this up. But yeah, the series is back. Um, I took a bit of a break there because of packs and other things and... Truthfully... I'm trying to think how I want to end the series. Um, I know a lot. Of, I know some people still watch this. I know some people really enjoy watching me watching me race. But uh, career mode is kind of becoming a lot of the same. <coughs> um, where it's you know the same tracks over and over again, the same cars. You know you have three or four races and. You do your thing, you get out of here, you go to the next one. I don't know if I want to keep doing it the same way I've been doing it, uh, where I've been doing like every race, every car, you know. I already cut out qualifying and practice sessions, so that's uh, that's one thing I've done to kind of shorten it up a little bit, which I had to do that for Grid Autosport as well. But, um, you know, we're, th we're three seasons in, I probably will be racing for what? career mode wise seven seasons I think seven is the the number you have to take to get to the top and I mean Grid Auto Sport was a 60 something episode series that lasted for a good six months and I am uncertain if I want to do the same thing with Project Cars simply because it's a fun game it's a fun game I enjoy it but I don't know if you know if I want to move on to other things or other games because I've been playing this since May it's September now so it's uh, it's been a while it's May June July August so yeah it's been about five months I've been playing this game on my channel and it kind of feels like as much fun as it is that it's it feels like it's time to uh, time to kind of push on to another racing game or something else entirely. Maybe free up some slots so that I can do some more Minecraft stuff without having to you know do two videos a day. On that three, just survive this. Oh God, it's raining! Crap. Lovely British weather, huh? Okay, but, uh, yeah, I really don't know what, as far as, you know, when the end will be for this. And now it's pouring out. Of course, we got half a lap to go. I got this BMW on my tail. Just be careful, be safe. Let them screw up. He's gonna dive inside on me. He doesn't have the inside line, so he won't be able to pass. Okay, just be careful. We got two more corners to go. Once you get through the chicane, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just take it slow. Take it slow. Where did this rain shower come from? I have no idea. There we go. Okay, almost lost it there. Wow, it's really pouring out. Yeah, we'll just get through this last corner. They're slowing down a little bit, which is great. Now we're just on the main straight, but thankfully, it's the last lap, so should win this one. But uh, that's 
Yeah, there's a lot of things I have to think about as far as the series, where it's going, whatnot. Oh, but uh, we want to race. Yay. So that'll give us 25 more points. Continue, and we've got 50 points now. And we've got 22 up on everybody else. So I should probably get going and get ready to the next track, so I'll be right back. Oh, I completely forgot about this. This is so much fun. But uh, we have another cup, actually, that we're going to be taking part in. Besides the GT5 cup, it is the the Mark IV. <laughs> oh, what is this? I forget what it's called. But, like, the Mark IV Championship Cup or something. I don't know what it is. But those of you wondering what the uh, heck the Mark IV is, the GT Mark IV, it is... You probably recognize it. That. That is the... Uh, oh, let's see if I can get a better shot here on a straightaway. Uh, but... Come on, this is just a warm-up lap, don't worry about it. But yeah, that, the, uh, <laughs> the Ford uh, GT Mark IV from 1967. A very awesome car that the Ford Motor Company built for the Mon to specifically go out and beat Ferrari. And if I remember the story right, the, uh, the whole idea was that Ford had wanted to, I think, do a partnership with Ferrari build a kind of a, a lawn style sports car and Ferrari basically told them no and so Ford uh, Ford uh, executives were all like well if they're gonna you know turn us down we're gonna go out there and we're gonna beat them so that's where the uh, the GT kind of came from and true to their word uh, Ford took the uh, I think it was a Mark IV to Le Mans in the 60s and they beat the pants off of Ferrari so this is a very classic car. This is if you've seen like the other GTs, like the new one that's coming out. Um, they just announced uh, this year that they're bringing the GT back. They can bring it back to Le Mans. It's, it's going to be a different car, obviously, but this is the the original the original GT. Yeah, it's really it's really fun to drive. I I just did some practice in this, and I really have enjoyed driving this. It feels a little. Uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit oversteer just by default. Don't go off the road. We'll not have our time count if we go off the road. Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't feel as as floaty as the, the Zach Speed did, or the Zach Speed Capri did. So I'm, I like that. I like the cars that don't necessarily feel. Oh, oh crap! Really? Get out of the way. This guy's gonna hold up my time too, which is a bummer. So we can dive down inside here. Yeah, we got him. Get the inside line through this section. And by the way, this is the Sonoma GP course. So if you notice a bit of a difference, we're at Sonoma. Um, this is the racetrack that most of the other series besides NASCAR will use. And I think if you watch the watch IndyCar when they had their finale couple weeks ago to use a very similar layout to this one. They, I think they shortened the uh, the hairpin turn the last, the last turn, which I think is turn 11. I think they shortened that a little bit. They kind of cut it off, make it not so difficult and slow. Because it's a very fast corner. It gets very, very tight. So this one right here, they kind of cut off to the left, like right there. So, yeah, it's uh, the big difference is that you actually go through the, the infield section. I'll we'll talk a little bit about that as we get back up there, but it's the same old course for the most part. Just let me fast lap. That's good. Go faster, and I just went off. Great! I guess that counts my time, though. That's uh, interesting. There we go. The time's going to be garbage anyways. This time is going to be rubbish. Uh, one thing about the GT I don't like is that the brakes take a really long time to work. So yeah, you're going to dive down here into this different corner. You go through this right-hander. You can kind of don't have to brake through. And then I think this is a carousel turn right here. I think that's what they call it. It's a long downhill sweeping left-hander that goes onto this short straight, which is actually the uh, drag strip here at Sonoma. 
kind of cuts back up here. There we go, to a tight hairpin corner. It actually spits you out until the end of the chute, but you take a right here. So it's a little bit shorter. And then it's pretty much the same all the way back down to uh, that last little turn. Yeah, this is a very slow lap. We're catching the guy in front of us bit by bit. We can catch back up to him past him, I think we'll be having a good lap. Yeah, the brakes on this are very, uh, very rough. It's a fun car to drive, though. I like it. Oh, damn it. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, so I think I'm going to try and finish out qualifying here. I've got uh, four more minutes, but I'm pretty sure we're on pole, so I'll be right back. Nice pass. Nice pass. All right, here we are. We're at Sonoma. Three laps in our GT Mark IV. I don't know where they got this many GT Mark IVs from. I don't think they made that many. Oh, and we immediately hit the ball. Wonderful work. Okay, just yeah, nice and steady. Yeah. Oh, he hit me. He hit me. Um, but uh, oh, don't go off. Don't go off. Break, 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 break. I'm losing it a little bit, but we're okay. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, I had a pretty good qualifying session, and I did. I did kind of get a feel for the car. Um, it's it's kind of it's kind of hard to, to steer. It wants to just do its own thing and you have to fight it when you're braking. But it doesn't really spin out as badly as you might think it does. The only thing that kind of is annoying about it is that you can hear the, uh, the body kind of dragging when you go up and down hills. It's really annoying. It's like there's no suspension on this thing at all. Like the wheels are just bolted on. I noticed that with a lot of cars too, in project cars. They seem to they seem to bottom out and scrape a lot. I don't know if they necessarily would in real life, but uh, maybe they do, and I just you know, never pay, really pay attention to it. So they're all right. You just gotta break this corner right. Okay, is that good? Because we gotta get down to about 35 miles an hour to take this properly. There we go. Oh, no! Why does it keep raining? Why does it keep raining? It never rains in California. Why is it raining all of a sudden? All these every time I race now, oh, damn it! Every time I race, it doesn't matter the course. Like it starts off sunny and then all of a sudden it rains. I I wonder if I can toggle that off because it's getting real, real annoying. The amount of times it rains during these races, like it happens every time now. I mean, every race it rains. It's just, it's its completely unnatural that it would do that. It, it just, it's so dumb. It's one of the reasons I don't really like playing this game as much as I used to, because every time I go out, you know, I start the race on slicks, and it's like, hey, I'm gonna make it rain, hey, lol. And now you're on slicks and you gotta run three laps in the rain. Good luck. Yeah, I, I running, I'm running these races short enough, I can't go in and pit for new tires or I'll finish dead last. Like, if it was 20 laps, yeah, I could see it, you know, I could see, see the weather being a factor, but, I mean, this is just, just silly at this point. It's like I'm playing Minecraft, it just rains all the time. Jeez, if I wanted to, if I wanted to, you know, 
play Minecraft, I played Minecraft, not Minecraft Racy game. Okay. That's fine, it's fine. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Slippery, but that's fine. Good lap. Open up a gap to everybody else. Oh god. Yeah, I just slid off there. I don't care about the lap time and validated. I just want to finish this race now. Mess. Oh, careful. I just hope everybody else is on slicks too and not having as much trouble as I am. It's not too bad. Only half a second down. Yeah, they're... I think they're far enough back that as long as they don't spin it, I should be okay. That's kind of my big worry right now, is just losing it coming down one of these, these tight sweeping turns, and then next thing I know I'm off in the, the grass, the dry grass, and trying to rate my car as everyone goes past me. Okay. A little off there, but that's fine. So now we just gotta go downhill through the S's real quick. Second slower than the last lap, but it's also raining, so we're running a little bit more cautiously. Alright, we got two more corners. We got this one. This right hander we have to break for. And then last turn. Okay, I think we got this. Yeah, we got this now, okay. We're slow enough. There we go. And there's the finish line. There's the other cars. We're doing all right. Good job. Woohoo, all right. That was a pretty fun race, actually. I like the, I like the Fords. I like them. They are... Uh, they're fun. So it's the Vintage GT67 MK4 Challenge. I'm just gonna call it. The, I'm just gonna call it the Mark IV Challenge because that is a mouthful. <laughs> and 25 points. Yes. Nicely done. We're gonna head back to the menu. I don't know what we got next. I don't think there's a GT race coming up for a bit. Um, team Madness. That seems like a a great team name. Yeah. So the next race is gonna be Historic GT5 at Silverstone. Um, we've got the Vintage at Road America, Bolton Park, and the last one is Laguna Seca. So, I don't know why they wouldn't run uh, Sonoma and Laguna Seca. It seems like a lot of back and forth travel. Um, should run Road America last or run it first, you know. But, uh, yeah, we've got those two to do, and then March is coming up. I'm sure some of these will be cups we can take part in. I think we've already done the historic uh, trophy thing. Well, Formula C stuff. Uh, when is the next the next GT race? I don't know when the next GT race is. GT3 Asia Pacific. Um, it's got to be a race coming up sometime soon for GT3. I will I will let you guys know when that is. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, this short but uh, fun video. And I will see you guys soon with more Project Racing. So. I'll see you around the track.